on from the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. As the House heads into its second full week of debate on the government's budget for the next fiscal year, health officials continue to watch the coronavirus numbers for the country. 107 cases for the weekend through Saturday, most of them 95 in the capital. Despite those numbers, Health Minister Well says we are trending in the right direction. We had a high of overall cases, I think, between Epi Week, that was May 16th, through the 22nd, we had about 370 cases during that week in the Bahamas. Uh, since that time, this last week, I think we've had about 120 cases. So there's a downward trend. Our hospitalization on May the 28th and 29th was the highest it was in country during this third wave. We had 57 persons who were in hospital since that time. As of yesterday, we have 40 persons in hospital. Grand Island and parts of Andros now out of lockdown, but they still have restrictions in place in the form of curfews. Curfew kicks in at 6 p.m. for North and Central Andros at 8 p.m. for Grand Island as officials continue to monitor cases in those areas. Prime Minister Minnis says he's thinking about giving fully vaccinated persons some more freedoms. He's expected to make a statement on the COVID-19 way forward in the House on Thursday. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Health officials maintaining that vaccination is the quickest way out of the pandemic. Latest numbers, just over 68,000 total doses administered. Just over 50,000 have at least one shot. Almost 18,000 persons are fully vaccinated. Still some work for health care workers to deal with. More than 700 active cases still out there. Around 40 persons still in hospital with the virus, four in the ICU. The coroner now looking into that police-involved shooting incident from the weekend here in the Capitol. It left a man dead. Latest murder victim identified as 45-year-old Lamont Johnson. Fatally shot at a bar on Blue Hill Road here in the Capitol over the weekend. Police are working that case looking for a single gunman. Drug agents have two men in custody in connection with the seizure of an estimated $1.2 million worth of cocaine in the Exuma Keys over the weekend. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's overnight AccuWeather weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light BPL. Partly cloudy tonight, showers could be around. Overnight lows in the upper 70s and low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 78 in the capital, 80 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds falling to light and variable overnight. The sea's three feet or less. Low tide now, the next higher on midnight. Tuesday's forecast, partly cloudy, highs in the upper 80s. Some showers could be around. No systems in the trunks. Your weather update brought to you by Bahamas Power and Light, BPL. Through all severe weather situations, they will be there by your side. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. World News headlines, reestablishing alliances. Damage during the Trump administration, that is what U.S. President Biden is hoping to do at the NATO summit in Brussels today, ahead of a midweek meeting with Russian President Putin in Switzerland. Israel has a new prime minister ending the rule of Benjamin Netanyahu. A coalition government led by Nafali Bennett is now officially in place in Israel. Some concern in the U.S. after eight states report increasing COVID-19 infections. There's a new variant the Americans are watching closely. Sports notes now brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section on TV. There's a lot of soccer, a major international tournament that's going on. NBA Games 4 tonight for Philadelphia and Atlanta and Utah and the Clippers. DeAndre Ayton and the Suns already in the West Finals after sweeping Denver over the weekend. Major League Baseball, Jazz and the Marlins opening a series in St. Louis tonight. John Quill Jones in Europe to play in a major tournament there representing Bosnia. 
taking a break from the WNBA for about two weeks. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. 